In 2021, the Jeep Compass received quite a thoughtful midlife update, which fixed most of the SUV's drawbacks on the inside and left the generally solid mechanical package intact. But with competition in this segment intensifying constantly, Jeep has now expanded the Compass lineup by reintroducing the top-end Trailhawk again. The Trailhawk badge is reserved for the most capable of Jeep's offerings. SUVs with the Trail-rated badge are put through a more rigorous set of tests to further improve off-roading capability. So the facelifted Compass Trailhawk continues with the same set of enhancements over the standard Compass as earlier, but maneuverability in the rough has improved further. This is largely down to the redesigned bumpers, which are even more chamfered at the front, leading to an increase in approach angles from 26.1 degrees to 30 degrees. The condensed seven-slat grille from the facelifted Compass also makes its way here, as does a new two-part air dam, which handles most of the airflow. Also, the headlamp is now the same slimmer LED unit, but a striking detail is this red Trailhawk decal, which flanks this anti-glare patch on the bonnet. Also striking is the new telephone dial alloy wheel design for the model-specific 17-inch Falcon Wild Peak tires. The 25mm increase in ground clearance over the standard compass continues with this update, as does the reinforced underbody protection, which has now been optimized for a 2.8 degree increase in breakover angle to 24 degrees. At the rear, there's an even more starkly rounded off, if slightly plain bumper that increases departure angle to 34 degrees from 31.6. As with the standard compass last year, this facelift does enough to add a touch more intent to what was already one of the more aggressively styled crossovers on the market, helped by the red highlight lettering, the signature red rear tow hook, and the cool Trailhawk insignia. But the pre-facelift compass Trailhawk was hampered by a constricted set of features limiting this version's appeal among prospective buyers. Thankfully, Jeep India has rectified that with the 2022 Trailhawk getting the same features as the top-spec Model S, making this one of the best-equipped SUVs in this price range. A good move considering most owners will use this version more as a daily driver rather than exploit its off-roading capability. So the interior now gets the fully redesigned and much richer feeling dash from the current Compass highlighted by the 10.1-inch touchscreen display with its intuitive menus. This is complemented by a bank of useful physical controls, while the 10.2-inch digital instrument cluster is as informative as on the standard compass, even if there is a bit of a learning curve with its many sub-menus. If anything, some Trailhawk-specific graphics would have made for a more pleasant experience. Having said that, this soft-touch panel on the dash finished in a sort of carbon fiber pattern along with this brushed grey split pattern below it and the red stitching on the seats, the Trailhawk uh, insignia and the red stitching on the steering wheel make this new Trailhawk a much more contemporary place to spend time in than earlier and distinguish this version from the Model S quite competently. As always, the large supportive seats with their wide range of adjustments make the Compass a comfortable SUV for long road trips. There's a great view out of the cabin for drivers of all heights and the soft touch surfaces add a premium touch to proceedings. The rear seats are also well cushioned and supportive. Although given the Compass's smaller footprint, legroom is at a deficit to rivals and three abreast at the rear will be a tight fit. The Compass Trailhawk continues with the trusty 2.0-litre multi-jet diesel motor, paired with the 9-speed torque converter automatic. This motor has its strengths in the way it delivers steady progress across its rough band in most driving scenarios. The Compass is especially competent as a steady highway tourer, wolfing down miles effortlessly. But standards in the segment have risen since the Compass first launched in 2017. The Jeep's rivals, both petrol and diesel, now offer a brisker and more refined driving experience. The improvements that were made to the 9-speed auto are seen in the Trailhawk 2. The Jeep is a touch more alert with its shifts in measured throttle inputs, although the lack of a sport mode and paddle shifters means that the Trailhawk doesn't like being rushed through overtakes and the like. 
The Compass has always had an impressive ride and handling package, and that continues with the trail lock as well, although there are some minor differences. The 60 profile tyres, the higher sidewall, give it a slightly cushier ride, which is most apparent over rough patches or minor imperfections, where the Compass is even more confident and it just pummels through these like there's nothing there. The flip side to this is that the slightly firmer low speed ride does mean that you feel it a little bit, but again, it's never too uncomfortable. The smaller wheel size means that the trail lock steering feels a little less direct than the regular compasses. But again, this is an incremental change that doesn't really come across on a daily driving situation. And considering that the multi-link rear setup is still intact, the trail lock is almost as good around a setup bends as a regular compass. The difference being that there's a touch more body roll. But again, this isn't immediately apparent and the compass continues to remain a great highway mile muncher. The Compass is already the most competent monocoque SUV you can buy in its price range when it comes to off-roading credentials. And the Trailhawk only ups this ability a notch. This version adds a rock drive mode and hill descent control, which makes the small SUV more than capable of handling any realistic off-roading scenario you might put a daily driver through. This is down to the quite well-tuned drive modes, which manage throttle, gearbox response and the stability systems as well as the all-wheel drive system. This AWD system is quite advanced too, with a four-wheel drive lock mode and even a four-low setting. This isn't a transfer case, but starts the compass off in its crawler first gear, allowing for a 20 to 1 crawl ratio. However, serious off-roading enthusiasts should switch to a more competent all-terrain tires or choose a body-on-frame alternative. With this update, the Jeep Compass Trailhawk is now truly the flagship of the Compass range. You get the full raft of features and the spruced up styling makes it look even more committed than before. While the drawbacks of the standard Compass are carried over, the strengths are too. So you get sound driving dynamics despite some of the precision being exchanged for enhancing the already very strong off-roading ability and the typical indestructibility that defines any Jeep SUV. As for choosing it over the similar Model S, pick the Trailhawk if you do a fair amount of off-roading or want to make a stronger visual statement.